All right, second full week of May, and we've got quite a wild ride ahead. Our warmest day in the next seven, expected to be this weekend when both Saturday and Sunday will hit highs of 88, but our coldest morning will be tomorrow morning, as in a few hours from now, when many of us will start around 40, some of us in the upper 30s. Isolated frost, probably not widespread, but possible north of the triangle up along the Virginia border. And I don't have a whole lot of rain to talk about this week. Our best chance on the 10 day forecast, well, at least in the next seven days, I should say, is 20%. I've got a 30% next week, but there's not a whole lot of rain. There's a lot of temperature talk this week, and today it was way below average. 67 was our high today, well below the average high for this time of year of 78. We're not going to be too different tomorrow or Wednesday, but then we really jump up as the 80s return by the end of this week. And today was another day with windy conditions. We've had about 200 of them in the last 200 days, it feels like. Winds have calmed down for the most part, but remember when winds calm down at night and we have mostly clear skies, even though it's a little unusual this time of year, it's really easy for the atmosphere to get cold when you have those conditions. And that's why we'll start tomorrow about 40 degrees. We'll have a few fair weather clouds spread throughout the day. No rain, not as much wind. We'll jump up to 60 by lunchtime on our way to a high of 67. We've got a great one to start off our new work and school week. Tonight's super sunset is from Anthony right here in Raleigh. Just cruising along in the second floor of his house and happened to look west at this super sunset. This is about a month and a half ago, so this was earlier this spring, but I'm always amazed at the different colors and brightnesses that Mother Nature can produce when the sun is setting or rising. I try to show your shots every night at 11 o'clock. I'll stick this on my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook page if you want to take a second look back through the last few years at all the great shots we have. I'm at Weather West. And we had another cold front come through today. That's why it's going to be so much cooler tomorrow. That front didn't bring a whole lot other than wind. There was no rain with it. And now behind it, high pressure will really work on keeping us dry the rest of this week. However, that doesn't mean completely cloud free. We do have a few clouds to talk about, but honestly, that might be the most interesting thing I have to talk about in the next few days, other than the temperature ride. And it's going to be a roller coaster. So it was 50 this morning. Again, tomorrow morning, expect to be our coldest morning at 40. Then we jump up to 46 Wednesday, 51 Thursday. And likewise, our afternoon temperatures will eventually start to jump up. But as I said, Futurecast doesn't have much to talk about this week. The radar won't get a good workout like it has the last few weeks. Let's pick it up tomorrow morning when, again, we'll have some clear skies, then some clouds work in as we head toward the afternoon, and then back to more sunny skies as we head toward the evening hours tomorrow. Then on Wednesday, we do have more clouds, but Again, the atmosphere is really dry at all levels, so it's going to be hard to spit out any rain. So while we will have some extra clouds Wednesday, we just don't have rain to talk about. So you'll see zeros on the rain line on your extended forecast. And while we will be in the upper 60s tomorrow, that will be the coolest day for the next several. Because by Wednesday and Thursday, we're up to 70 and 80. Mid 80s Friday, still with dry weather. Look at the overnight lows as we head into the weekend. Mid 60s, which is about our high tomorrow. So a pretty big warm up that'll send us into the upper 80s by Saturday and Sunday, 89 by next Monday. And there's your best chance of rain, a 30% next Monday. And on your 10 day forecast, we'll keep it in the mid 80s most of next week. All right, that's a look at your forecast.